What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we've got a few things you're going to be working on today. A lot of it's going to be like work around the farm and stuff. We just got to get done today at, you know, Reagan and Ice Place. That's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be trying to do a little bit of fencing. I've got the boys doing some mowing. We'll just take you guys along for the ride. I've got my brother here working and his friend and I'll go over why they're here working all the time now in just a second here. So Reagan and I have a lot going on right now between the car company, the truck company, the other truck company, which is her truck giveaway company. We're just busy all the time, whether it's with you know emails or marketing stuff that we're working on, which is constantly evolving and we're constantly trying to do new things. The videos and the editing and all this stuff. So what they're actually supposed to be is like personal assistance for Reagan and I, pretty much like a full-time job. Like they both come here, three to five days a week and they're here from 9 a.m. to 5 or 5.30 p.m. Basically, they do all of our mowing, our trimming, they take care of the animals, they edit our videos, they work on some of our ad stuff on and off, they work on our website development, they work on Reagan's website development, all that kind of stuff. All of the stuff that takes away from Reagan and I being able to do this, is what they do. For me personally, I'm starting to get to a point to where like I realize like I cannot do everything on my own. So if I truly want to be prosperous in everything that I do, I'm gonna have to outsource some work and get some help with things that I could have somebody else doing so that gives me more time to do what I want to be good at, which is I wanna be good at doing YouTube videos and the marketing. That's what I'm drawn to, that's what I'm interested in, and so I wanna get really good at that. Here's one of our new LMP keychains. We're gonna start this truck up, hook up the small trailer, and, well, you know what, we might not even have to go get the small trailer. No, I don't think we need it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll take it just in case, but we are going to have to go and get some materials. And for this truck, we should have a winner pretty much any day. I think maybe by time you see my next video, hopefully we're calling a winner and uh, getting their reaction on camera because I think it's been, it's been over seven days, not quite 14. So we should, we should have somebody any day now. So I'm gonna run over to Tractor Supply, I'm gonna grab some fencing, and then I'll get back and explain to you why I grabbed the fencing and what our project is gonna be for today. So we've got the fencing. I don't know if you guys have seen yet, we let the ducks and chickens out to the outside portion of the coop. Concrete's all down. It actually looked really good. I'm gonna open this up. Come on. This one red one always tries to attack me. But the concrete turned out actually pretty good. Um, there's obviously like chicken coop under there because it rained and then washed it up to the edges and underneath. But you know, so that's, that's all good. I do need to put a roost out here though so that when they do decide to roost out here at night, they have something to perch on. Um, but here's the fencing, and what we're actually gonna be doing with this is running a fence kind of like this, but on the inside, all the way around this pasture. And it should go fairly smooth because there's no fencing on the inside that's pre-existing to get in the way. So we're gonna basically just run it on the inside here, all the way around the pasture so that we can do our free range chickens because that's the way my wife wants to do it and that's the way I wanna do it too. Uh, but what we don't want happening is the chickens going under the fence and walking all over the neighbor's yard, crapping all over the neighbor's yard, you know, ending up in their backyard and they have a dog that's always out there and he's in an electric fence, but obviously the chickens are not. <laughs> so they could walk right back into the backyard and the dog might have a snack. So I'm gonna try to do this to just kind of keep them in this pasture. Now, could they get out? Yes, if they really wanted to, they could fly up and go over. They can do that. But for the most part, as long as there's fencing and they see a barrier when they're walking and scratching and pecking at the ground, they're not gonna try to just fly over the fence. They don't really have any real reason to. So this is really just to give them like a visual barrier and also physical to where like they just kind of are more apt to stay in this fencing versus wandering out towards the neighbors. And if they come out of this side, it's really not a big deal because we own quite a bit of pasture on the other side in the arena and then past the arena, then our backyard that goes on further. You get the idea. So we're gonna get to unrolling this fencing and we're gonna start tacking it up with some uh, of those like horseshoe style nails, they call them staples, but you know, whatever, line this fence. You'd like some water? Yeah. 
Now, they're right here. Here's the progress on the fence so far. We've got it tacked, obviously, in the corner, top to bottom, and then we just kind of pulled it out tight and have been tacking it, obviously, to every single post in three points. The first fence only made it down to, the first roll, I mean, only made it down to like that post right here with the yellow tag on it. And then we got a second one unraveled and it made it, it's gonna make it almost all the way to the end. And then of course we've got another four rolls to go around still. So probably two more on this side, for sure one along the back. And then we're gonna need one probably around um, the rest of the back here and some other areas. So we should have just enough fencing, maybe a little bit of extra. But right now what I'm gonna get to working on is the chicken coop outdoor perch or roost for the chickens. They don't have one on the outside and I'm pretty sure they would like that. So we're gonna get to working on that right now and see if we can't get something thrown together. Got all the materials cut that I believe I'm gonna need. We should be good to go. So I'm gonna try to prop my camera up, see if we can't get this done. Well, the roost is done, and as you can see, the chickens are already using it. There were actually like six of them on there just a second ago, um, and it, it turned out pretty good. I didn't like level out, you know, the, the roosts themselves, the boards running across to make sure they're perfectly straight up and down. I just kind of eyeballed them because in reality, it doesn't really matter. They're just perching on it to sit on it at night, sometimes randomly throughout the day. It's not a big deal, um, but it does look good. I did center it up in the chicken coop, you know, wall to wall, not from that opening that goes in to the other wall, like completely centered. And the reason I did that is so that if they're perched up there and let's say it's pouring rain or whatever the case may be, um, it's in the center where they're gonna be the most likely to stay dry if we do have weather like that. That was kind of my thought process behind it. I figured center would be better. They're almost halfway to, actually they're exactly halfway done right now. You can see they're right behind, you know, your new truck right there and uh, that's where they're at right now. So they're they're almost, they're about, right about halfway and then they gotta do all the rest. But this is their probably one hour progress all the way along here. I helped them with half of this and then they, they said they got it. So they said they had it figured out from then on. So um, that's where we're at with that. I'm gonna take a quick second to ask you guys something. Do you enjoy or do you want to continue to see little bits of the farm work we have going on like this throughout the LNP vlogs or would you rather not see it at all? I personally enjoy filming this kind of stuff because it makes me feel a little bit less stressed out about having to make sure I go out of my way to try to figure out something to do with a truck on days that I really don't have truck stuff going on, I have more farm stuff going on. If you guys wanna see both, I'll just keep doing this and film kinda of like half and half or just pretty much anything really that I have going on between here and the truck stuff. So the next thing on the agenda is going to be getting some photos of my wife's new giveaway truck because she has a giveaway going live. It actually will already be live by the time you see this video. Her website links are in the description below always as well to go check out her YouTube, her giveaway website and her trucks and all that stuff. We're gonna be taking some photos for her and we're gonna be getting the truck wiped down with a microfiber towel just to like de-dust the truck. And then we're gonna be getting some, like I said, some pictures taken so that it's ready for her website, for her giveaway to go live. She usually does all of this stuff herself, but we're in a little bit of a time crunch. And so I told her I'll go take some video and some photo around the truck. And then you just work on your stuff because she's working on her website and editing a YouTube video and some other stuff. And for anybody interested in entering to win this truck, it's a 2005 LLY Duramax. It's got a six inch lift, 35 inch tires, I believe. They're 1250 wides, 20 by 12, are they 20 by 12s? Could be 20 by 12s or maybe 20 by 10s, I'm not sure. It's a great looking truck, great running truck. It's got a couple things she's gonna do to it, like fix some small body flaws, some like little dings and chips and crap. The hood's got a little chip in it she's gonna fix. The headlights, she's gonna swap those out with something cool and custom. She's got a lot of little things she's gonna do to it, but she's also trying to do things that she can get done while in the process of literally about to have a baby like it could literally be any day now so um, that's another challenge she's facing but she's one of those people that you are not going to tell her she's not able or capable of doing something just because you don't think you would be able or capable of doing the same i always tell her i'm like hey listen don't overdo it and don't you know don't stress yourself out but don't be afraid to challenge yourself 
even when others say it's not possible due to your current circumstances. I believe that in most cases, that is just either jealousy talking from somebody that is kind of jealous you're able to do so much and still be pregnant and you know, whatever, or they couldn't see themselves being able to do it, therefore they think you shouldn't be doing it. Just keep in mind that when somebody puts limitations on you and recommendations that are limiting on you, it's oftentimes that they couldn't do it themselves and that's why they do that to you. some zip ties and you're probably asking yourself what on earth do you need zip ties for well the boys just finished putting up that you know that small fencing so that we can do our free range chickens and we do need to get some zip ties because there's a couple of spots where the fencing had to go uphill downhill sort of thing it just got a little bit wavy in the fence in a couple of spots where there were big changes in you know elevation not that there's that many big changes in elevation in this part of Indiana but there was just enough in our yard to make the fencing look a little bit warped in a couple spots so the easy simple solution would be to zip tie the fencing to the other fencing in two different places per section and it'll kind of make the whole fence as one unit. Now our fence is not hot right now and why it's not hot is because well our horse is 21 years old and he's been conditioned to an electric fence his entire life he doesn't even touch the fence he doesn't want anything to do with the fence he knows when he just sees like rows of posts it's like an illusion to him and he just doesn't go near it. So we really don't need it for that reason. And then in terms of the chickens, we're not gonna use a hot fence for our chickens anyways. You know, we want it to be free range and ordinarily we wouldn't have even put this fencing up except the neighbors have dogs and that's why we did it. That's just to kind of keep them from going over to the neighbor's house and ending up in the invisible fencing that the dogs are allowed in. We got the zip ties that we needed. Some of you guys are gonna think this is the dumbest idea ever. And you know, it could be a not so great idea, but we're gonna be zip tying the two lower strands of fencing here to the actual small fencing all the way down around that back side and then there's like wire slash tubular saw fencing that we use up tight to along that back side why are we doing that let me show you here without getting this camera soaking wet and i know it's not ideal but the style of fencing changed because there was like wire fencing over there plastic coated wire fencing over there is what i meant and then this side's this type but you see how it's a little bit wavy here well, that's because it goes downhill and it was just kind of a pain in the butt to, you know, obviously when you lift the bottom end of the fence up, the top end's gonna have a little bit more slack. So the bottom's tight and then top has a little bit of slack. But if you zip tight to the fence, at least then it'll take that waviness out of it and it'll make it sit flat within the post, which is what I'm gonna do. Barn got a huge organization job done today. They got a lot of that crap all organized because it was also boxed up from when we had moved. And this is all, all the insulation was cleaned out of here. The shower area is mostly cleaned up. And they're still gonna finish more of it tomorrow, but it's nice having uh, two assistants that just kind of like do everything that you ordinarily don't usually have time to do. Let's check out this chicken coop. I got another thing done on it today. Just a dumb little project, but you know, it, it works. We've got this gap right here and I put a gate on it because I'm like, you know what? I was gonna just fence it off and just put some wire across here and just kind of tack it on. I'm like, don't really wanna do that. And not to mention, I'm gonna do that to that other corner over there, just cause that other corner is really, really tight. So what I thought was, I'm like, okay, let's just put a small gate here, just in case like we've got the big gate closed over there. We've got that fence there. We just wanna like walk around to the other side of the chicken coop or just want to cut through this way so there's another gate there we just threw that in real quick it only took you know two three minutes chicken coops looking good everything's finally coming together a few more things to do of course it's not done but it's looking a lot looking a lot better that's pretty much what i did today i mean i we really don't do truck stuff every day and i think that's something that a lot of people don't understand they see the youtube aspect of it they follow the instagram which is all revolving around a certain topic i think they think that that is how your life is every single day and that's all you do is the fun stuff and that's really not the case i mean this stuff i enjoy going out and working and doing this kind of stuff this is part of what we do probably 
60%, 70% of the time is just upkeep, you know, work like this and stuff that we just gotta do aside from trucks. The rest of our time obviously does have something to do with either finding a next truck, working on a truck, you know, promoting the truck stuff and all that jazz because that's also a huge part of our lives. It was a fun day, it's about 6.30 now. I've been filming little bits and pieces since nine this morning, so we're gonna wrap it up here. We're fencing here, and then this stuff is what we use. This is real small, thin wire stuff, and then what we also did is we took some zip ties and we zip tied it in a few points throughout all the way down, but of course they are tacked in on the posts, you know, in three spots on every single post all the way around, but we did that so that it would kind of tie the fencing in flat with the fencing, in the middle in between the posts and not like have play in it to where it can kind of get blown around and you know just loosely be sitting there in between because like when you go downhill and then back up in the areas like that it gets a little bit loose in the upper portion of the fencing and really tight down at the bottom of the fencing and so we wanted it to be snug along the fence so that there was no play or give in it so that these stupid <laughs> chickens can free range that's why we're going through all of this before i leave this video right now 5x bonus entries are live to win this six speed cummins on forces plus five thousand dollars cash and right now our two times bonus entries are available to win this hellcat plus five thousand dollars cash so if you want to get entered to win either of these vehicles or both of these vehicles Links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go grab some merch, leave a like on the video, comment down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.